Hey guys, what's up? My name is Beatbreaker and today I have a very exciting video for you guys. I'm gonna be building my new gaming, streaming and rendering computer using all of the awesome components that you can see right in front of me. But before we're gonna get right into the details of the different parts that I have selected for this build, I'd like to give a huge thank you to both NVIDIA as well as Arctic for providing the RTX 2080 graphics card and two P140 Bionics coolers. Now, in case you're wondering for the other products that I have right in front of me, they are not sponsored in any form or fashion. I bought them with my own money and basically selected them based on their specifications. And let's have a look at what we actually got. So we're gonna start off with the Gigabyte Gaming Aorus Extreme Set 390 motherboard. This is pretty much the most extreme motherboard you can get on the Set 390 um, architecture right now. It has a 16 phase VRM layout and therefore should definitely pack enough of a punch to power our i9-9900K processor by Intel, which obviously I want to overclock to 5GHz on all cores. Additionally, this mainboard supports two Thunderbolt connections, therefore allowing for USB 3.1 Type-C connections and it has a 10 gigabit Ethernet connection, which is basically the selling point why I bought this one, because looking down the line in the future, I would probably want to upgrade to a 10 gigabit local LAN here in my office, and therefore having the 10 gigabit in the motherboard already, and therefore not having to buy an expensive PCI extension card. Now, in terms of cooling, we have the NZXT Kraken X62, which I already have in my old system, which you can see right over there. And in order to keep the Kraken cool and silent, I'm gonna be using the P140 cooler by Arctic. In terms of memory, we have 32 gigs of DDR4 memory clocked at 3200 megahertz by Corsair. For storage, I'm gonna be using not one, but two one terabyte NVMe SSD by Samsung. The 960 NVMe I'm gonna be using for uh, recording and to edit videos on. Whereas the other one terabyte NVMe, which is a little bit faster, D970 EVO, I'm gonna be using for the operating system as well as the games that I regularly play. For long-term storage, I have six terabyte of the Iron Wolf hard drive, as well as two two terabyte hard drives for my personal data. As graphics card, I obviously have the RTX 2080, which was kindly provided by NVIDIA. And in terms of PSU, I'm using the Corsair HX850i, which is a platinum grade power supply, which has very high efficiencies at around 50, 60, 70% load, therefore allowing me to be much more efficient with my rig in the future. And finally, I have a 64 gigabyte USB 3.1 memory stick, which I'm gonna be using to install Windows on my new machine in absolutely no time. All right, so these are gonna be the parts and you can find each of these in the description box below as affiliate links. So before I can actually start with my build, I'm gonna to have to get rid of the old components. I'm gonna be using the same case. This is a Corsair Obsidian 750D uh, full tower PC case. It has excellent airflow and this kind of side panel here, such that you can see all the RGB in all its glory. Quick little note on the sidelines, no, I am not sponsored by DreamHack. I just like this shirt. But without any further ado, let's rip this PC apart. All right, so the case is now clean and empty and we can start now with our actual build. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up all of the components onto the main board and then we're gonna put the main board in the computer, hook it all up with the graphics card, the cooler, all the different drives and then hopefully everything will work. Let's go.
There it is, guys, it is done. But let's be honest, this build just doesn't have enough RGB yet. Let's fix that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that sexy B-roll. As you can see, I finished my build and I've installed Windows 10 and all of the software that I'm using on the machine. I've installed the second NVMe SSD as well as connected all of the hard drives. Now, I'm still struggling to actually get three of the hard drives to run in parallel to the two NVMe SSDs. According to the manual, this should actually be possible, but for some reason, um, Windows simply only recognizes two of the hard drives when I have two NVMe SSD connected. So I'm still gonna have to fix this. I also have connected the Arctic um, P140 Bionics um, coolers to the system and it's producing rather reasonable temperatures on the i9-9900K. If I do a very quick benchmark in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, then I can see I gained around 70 FPS going from my old i7-7700K at 5 GHz to this i9-9900K beast. But of course, I'm still going to overclock the i9-9900K in my system. I'm trying to aim for a 5 GHz overclock on all 8 cores and considering that I'm currently sitting around 45 to 50 degrees Celsius at 100% load, I think that this should be a feasible target. But with that, all I'm left with is a huge amount of 4K 60fps footage that I've accumulated during the build of my system and I cannot wait to see the performance that I get out of this beast as soon as I overclock it. But that's it for today guys, if you enjoyed this video give me a like and subscribe if you want to see the overclocking guide on the i9-9900K. Thank you very much for watching, have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next video.